a lot of animals that are vegan are just not that that smart. <laughs> they're dumb. Like, like, I don't know. They're not dumb. They're like nice, sweet animals. But they're but like, we need our brain power. You know, we we have problems to solve. We got things to do. So you need good food. Today we're making poopy sandwiches. So first, before cooking, you gotta before anything in life, it's kind of it's good to have your things sorted, I guess. So we're sorting. Zoria to reenact how Satan is made. First you need some flour and water and a big bowl. You can just yep. Add the flour and the water and make a good dough and knead the dough. <laughs> Yeah, I make a good ball of dough, and then, yeah, you need a big bowl, so you got this dough in a big bowl, and then you rinse it with water. Uh, just fill that thing up with water, fill the bowl up with water, and just knead, 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 knead under the water, and you're washing all the starch away, and you're just left with pure protein, pure gluten. We let it sit way too long in the fridge and it started to go sour and it's like kind of perfect because it's kind of like uh, sausage is kind of fermented and and sour so and then I don't know we had bean flour and and nutritional yeast and walnuts obviously and cracked black pepper on the outside yeah this video is supposed to be about Eating, eating vegan on a budget, and I don't know that I really recommend that necessarily. It can be kind of reckless to uh, to try to be cut. I don't know, cut corners. Like it's just too easy to fall into eating lots of Oreos and chips. <laughs> Or like what other cheap things are there like you can get like you know cheap highs out of coffee and alcohol and stuff but like I don't know you shouldn't shouldn't really I like to look into like buying groups like just like get a whole bunch of people like to buy collectively from distributors but I haven't done that yet but you can buy bulk and stuff and and uh, beans are super cheap, grains are cheap, you know, whole grain's good. And this is the use from the leftover starch from washing the seitan. You're left with a bunch of starch and then all you have to do is add a little bit of, I just add some whole wheat flour because it's all white flour starch, so I add some whole wheat flour, barley flour or something. And, uh, and this is like with dates and cinnamon. We're gonna slice the salami. <laughs> the poop. 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 <laughs> the poop. <laughs> I'm like, it's not in focus. I'm like, no, it is in focus. <laughs> it's too much in focus. Toast is hot. We don't have margin or anything so I figured the coconut oil mm -hmm. Give it a little tropical flare you can always use like olive oil or anything it's like just a fat you know got the mustard here 
simulating the P. <laughs> Making the pee in the poopy sandwich. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't? Too real. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're ready. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good though. <laughs> yeah. Well, learning to cook is like is like one of the I don't know. It just gives you so much joy and able to give so much joy to other people. Um, Get your hips involved, you know? Uh, Spice up your life, you know? Yeah.